going on? If you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a Zodiac reading for October 2021. I would like to say, please do not leave the, live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings will always resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone might be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone of this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. Wow, I had a tongue, tongue twister <laughs> in the beginning there. Um, so we got the cup again. All right, let's try, let's see if we can get some different, you know. I don't want to do the backwards thing again, because then what about all the people in the middle? It's like not fair or whatever, right? What's this? Look, Sagittarius. Okay, so that's different, right, than the last times. Uh, we're going to put that right there. All right. <clears throat> so today I have the Hudson Theory 11 deck and the White Sage Tarot. How, look how beautifully they match up. It's, it's crazy. Um, I was actually organizing the, uh, the box and, and these two are right next to each other. And I was like, wow, how those two colors look beautiful together. Look at that. Sometimes that's how I pick. Color coding the decks. <laughs> so this is uh, white. All right. All right. So, um, you know, that could resonate with somebody, you know, the color white. I want to look that up. I'm not too uh, familiar with that right now. Uh, white light, you know, I don't know. <laughs> but let's see what's going on for Sagittarius, right? I just want to go through these a couple times. Actually, let me, let me do this way. It's better do this a couple times <clears throat> just trying to find out what's going on uh, for Sagittarius for the month of October 2022 right all right let me get some general energy going on here whoa whoa Queen of Cups in reverse are you all right so your energy is not very nurturing right now not during this month. Not very happy. Not very loving. Something must be going on. Something might be going on, you know? We'll elaborate on that a little more. Let's see. The Hermit. Okay. So you might be... You might actually be... Uh... Wow. It could be the Hermit upright, you guys, or reverse. I'm telling you. I feel like somebody here might be not feeling so well, not uh, being emotional for some situation. And and it's either, you know, you're trying to think about it, you know, try to get, get through it, right? Or you just don't want to think about it. You don't even want to go there, right? It's one of those. What is this involving? What does all this involve? What does all this involve for Sagittarius? Oh, that one almost flew away. Let's see. Five of Swords. I'm just checking to see if the cards are in reverse or not. So we got the Five of Swords. You found out some truth. That's why. Five of Swords to me is like a liar card. This is about, you know, lying about stuff. Or planning uh, some deceptions or, or something like that, but not actually doing it. It's when we get to the Seven of Swords that they actually follow through. But when it's a Five of Swords in reverse, it appears that you have found out about some deception or some lies. You know? I also feel like you're going to put a stop to this, whatever this is. You know why I say that? Because I'm looking at these three, these four swords right here pointed up, right? And this one is pointing down like, no, you know, like you may have had a lot of people lie to you or lying to you and you are just showing no emotion for those people right now, right? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, right? You could have those signs in your chart. But right now, you know, you're not feeling them. You're not feeling it. You know? 
And you're putting a stop to whatever these these lies or deception or some sh look the tower. I told you. <laughs> so yeah, you're 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 breaking down some some walls here. You're not having this shit. You've come to notice something. <sighs> yup. There you have it. Somebody, there, you, somebody had you in a third party situation or somebody broke your heart. Somebody did something to hurt you. You found out about some, some shit. You found, you know, this could have been like you found out that your spouse was cheating or something like that. Or maybe you found out that the loyalty of your friends is not there. You know, these, these hoes ain't loyal. <laughs> like that song and shit whatever but you found some disloyalty uh look the hair fan because it was maybe in your you found out your spouse was dang i'm sorry i'm hoping this does not resonate this could have been something in the past also that you found out you know now now remember If this is not upsetting you and the story sounds like, yeah, yeah, I found out about that, then, then, you know, that's, that's good. That's a good sign that you've healed from it. So don't, don't trip, you know what I mean? Don't trip. But if you're upset about it, like, yeah, that, okay, you still gotta, you still gotta heal. <laughs> right. So, you know, wow. That's not always good to find out either anyways, you know, uh, that, that's not a good feeling, you know. High priestess. This is the obstacle right here is, is the sacred knowledge, right? I feel like you kind of knew already and you, you didn't want to see it. Maybe you didn't, you didn't believe it yourself. You just, you believed your spouse. Maybe, no, no, I didn't. I, I love you. You know, whatever they said. But I think, you know, the obstacle here is following your intuition and, and somebody might be uh, trying to manipulate uh, you in the situation. But, you know, I'm telling you, love is blind. So you, 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 your obstacle here is following your intuition. So you may know this. Somebody may be lying to you a lot and breaking your heart at the same time, but you're not you're still there. You just have no more emotion for it. Four of Pentacles. Either you can't let it go or you need to. I mean, I feel like you need to. If you found out some truth about a cheating spouse and they got you in third party situation. I mean, what would you tell your friends if, if you had a good friend of yours and they told you, oh, they're cheating on me, you know. I mean, what would you tell your friend? Stay with her? Stay with him? Well, you know, it, it could possibly be worked out. But in this situation, I feel like it's happened more than once. Possibly even four times. What's the final card here for Sagittarius for the month of October? Whoa, it's too many. I will put some back, but let's see what here. what's here. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. So you're working on it. You're working on yourself. You're working on your intuition. You're working on something, right? Something for yourself, all right? Um, you're working on you. Now, the Eight of Pentacles, some people would say, oh, you guys are going to work it out. No. The Eight of Pentacles is a singular working on, right? This is about somebody working on their craft, working on themselves, working to heal themselves, 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 not with others, right? So what I'm seeing here is you're, you know, and I see the cat is looking at the card. Do you guys not see that? The cat is looking at the card. Like, yes, you need to do that so I can work properly. Right. Because somebody's intuition is off because they're being blind, blinded by love or blinded by the deception, you know, and, and look, they want to talk because they've been enlightened. So somebody is trying to work on themselves, work the courage up, following their intuition to actually say something about that. King of Swords. 
Okay. Now, if this is not a love situation, uh, oh, well, it, it looks like it is, to be quite honest. But this, the King of Swords, you could have uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in your chart. You could be trying to think about how you can solve all this, right? That's why we got those two cards there. Or the third party could be a King of Swords. Right? And now I'm also seeing that this could be the energy of the person that you are with, that you are cutting out these lies and you don't want this heartbreak no more. A king of swords could be involved. You want to follow your intuition because you know something's going on. Like, you know something's going on. You, maybe you just can't put your foot on it yet. So you work on yourself to get the courage up to remember what those last two cards are. To have a talk with someone. Two of wands and the sun. The card of enlightenment. Let's get a one card clarification going now real quick. Queen of Cups. Tell us about that Queen of Cups. Okay. Yeah. Queen of Cups. Heartbroken energy. Three three of Swords right here again. Double confirmation. Right? You're heartbroken over this person or you are in the energy of not being emotional at all because you're heartbroken. At the bottom of the deck, the Joker. Looks like you need to take a leap of faith somewhere. Somebody did. Or somebody will. I don't know. Five of Swords reversed. Yeah, there's no love here anymore. There's no love. It was all like a sham, you know? Somebody came in and, and you know, possibly you loved you all up real quick, and but it wasn't real. Three of Swords. Three of Swords. There he is again, the King of Swords. This card also doubles as uh, the Emperor. All right. So somebody here is Emperor Energy. Heartbroken. See, the King of Swords here is not the Emperor. The Emperor would have come out if that was the case, but it didn't come out. But now it did. Okay. So you could also, somebody here could also be dealing with two air signs and a water sign. Or those could be this. You know, something like that. Or you could have, like I said, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in your chart. But I see, you know, one person involved here with this Three of Swords energy heartbreak is a King of Swords or, you know, I think is a King of Swords, to be quite honest. Tell me about this High Priestess. Sagittarius. All right. So we have the two of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. That is, this is so fucking tri trippy. High priestess and the two of pentacles re are in reverse. The two of pentacles doubles as the high priestess in this deck. So we have double confirmation that you are not using your intuition here. The obstacle is using your intuition. Let's elaborate on that card. You're not using it. That's what that means. You're not using your intuition here. You're being blinded by something around you. So, and some, you know, somebody's, you know, someone's pulling on your heartstrings to manipulate you. You or you're doing this to someone. It's one or the other. Eight of Pentacles. Gotta watch out for those players and those sneakies trying to take advantage. You know, shoot. Okay. Six of Pentacles, right? Working on yourself, working on your craft, but still having to give to two situations. So you might be trying to, you know, you might be just really busy too right now trying to get it all together. 
you got to give here, you got to give there. And it's so hard for you to even, and that's what sucks because, okay, this is what I'm seeing. Somebody put, could have probably pulled you into a situation where the bills are piling up. You, you're you trying to work on yourself. You see all this shit happen in the background. Yeah, you got to pay all these bills. You got all these things. This is for not for everybody, but I mean, it's, I mean, you know. You're trying to help out who you can. But in the end, you got to help yourself is, is what I see here. Kind of, you know. And it's probably a better idea, you know, that you start work on yourself and your healing. You got to separate from this, whatever is hurting you. Definitely. Whoever's being, whoever's, you know, if you're here, you're here because you're hurt. You want to find out something going on, right? Something's going on. I wouldn't stick around because there's better, better things you can do with your life than to be sad and angry or whatever. You know what I'm saying? There's so, so much better. Working on yourself, finding your own happiness, you know? All right, you guys. If it resonated, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles. Doubles as a Wheel of Fortune. Right? I'm sorry, no, it, not, the, not the Wheel of Fortune. I, I mix that up. But the Ten of Pentacles, it sure is longevity, right? It's about your own security. So that's maybe where you got to head towards, you know, you got you to gotta get rid of this, whatever is bothering you, whatever is, it's obviously, you know, heavy. So, all right, you guys, that's all I have for you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, keep it true love energy. Happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona, this is Classical Dreams Channel, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.